All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Will. Same gang with me. To my left, my dog, Bishop, out the prairies. My nigga be here. How you what? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it. Shout no. out to N-Jack. Shout out to goddamn Smile Kicks. I appreciate the gear, nasty. Oh, damn. Mm. Niggas got the individual advertising. Yeah, okay. Shit. Okay, turn up. All right. Yeah, Send know. me a motherfucking shirt. Shout so. out to the gang. <laughs> yeah, got yours on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Introducing. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> to my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young Tig. How you what? Man, I'm chilling, bro. These was about to do for real. I think I wore these to be his uh, party like, you wore, you on Sunday. Oh, yeah, I, I was, wore these. I so these was about to do for body. real. This ain't no cap. And somebody said in the comments, your door big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> Speaking of shout out backwards, what's your favorite version of those? These really, reverse, yeah. Mm. What's yours? The shattered. black and orange was the black, the those. shattered. I hate, the, I hate the three point but they're my favorite ones. Wow, because that glossy so far. You like those? Unfortunately, not a fan, but I do have them. I call. I, they I, silly, bro. Speaking of the COVID shit, I feel like them are COVID Jordans. Those, them black and green ones, and definitely cool. COVID Jordans. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas was at home getting all them boxes in for yeah, Nike for, for sure, shit. for sure. Damn, Man. COVID was a wild time. COVID was a very wild time, bro. It wasn't too long ago. That's the fucked up part. But when we was going through that shit, it felt like the longest time period. I remember, nigga, we was hooping and the NBA stopped. And then we just seen Rudy Gobert doing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> and that still, to me, is one of the wildest videos, bro. Yeah, fuck him, too. <laughs> niggas hate Rudy Gobert. <laughs> like, he gave the whole world COVID. <laughs> yeah, niggas was mad at him, for real. He, he got it cracking. <laughs> He was a pregame. Yeah, he, he got a crack. When Donovan Mitchell was out, I was like, oh, fuck Rudy Gobert. This nigga got my nigga sick. I remember one of the refs in the middle of the game, we were playing the Knicks. Uh, maybe the Knicks. I don't remember who we were playing. But it was Vince Carter last game. And one of the refs in the middle of the game was like, yup, Rudy didn't gave him COVID. I was damn. Like, damn, Rudy got COVID? In the middle of the game, they're like, it's the last game. Niggas like, Vince, go in. It's your last game ever. That's when Vince came in the game, started hooping and shit. But I remember that. That's, That's crazy. fucked up to so his last played, game. Was. You played against Vince in his last game. I played I with him. I was on his team. He was in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. duh. He was on yeah. ATL. Because I just remember after that, he did his All the Smoke interview. Yeah, he was. He shut yeah. it down. Nigga, I, I remember watching the Big Ten tournament. And I remember, I forgot which coach it was. He was on the sideline, red as fuck. And I remember half time, they were just like, nah. And I was at Gainsbridge at the time. And they cleared everybody out there, bitch. I was like, damn. Yeah, that, that was crazy, crazy, bro. Yeah, we don't need to go back to that shit nah, at all. Ever. That's when verses was popping too. What was your favorite verses during there, during that time? Hey, the iconic bro, the Gucci and Jeezy's damn near probably. That's your favorite? Mom's was the John Tate and Neo. I'm a R&B nigga. That was fire too. Mom's, who T-Pain went against? Um, T-Pain went against. They shit was Lil funny John? as hell. They shit was fu- Was it Lil John? I don't know. I, don't I can't was... remember who it was. It was T-Pain or somebody, but they was on there clowning. Oh damn! What's that nigga name? I can't think of it. Uh, Sean Garrett when he was drunk. As yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, they I was, was clowning. No, that was they Sean was... Garrett. You like the Sean Garrett versus the Dream one? That nigga Sean Garrett was in the. That's camera the one you like. That was I the like. Yeah, Sean Garrett. I like T- whatever. I like that one too. But T Pain shit was crazy too. Yeah, they was. Yeah, 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 they was, was wilding yeah. on there. They Lil was John. wilding. It yeah. was better when it was a split screen. Yeah. Now, when they got to the same place, it was decent. Like that dip set in uh, Locks one was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the most iconic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Jada Kiss really like. You don't, you don't if, think the Jeezy and Gucci was more iconic than that? Fuck no. Nah. Because that's when. It was I, hard because it was like I'm, magic. Right. But I'm saying I'm more of a like the underdog type of motherfucker because honestly, bro, nobody had. Dip said getting demolished by one nigga like that. Nah, bro. sort of. Like, guy. that's when everybody was like, damn, that nigga can rap for real. Cam, you know I'm an honorary member of the Dip. Nah, for sure. But, but it, it hurt to see it, how divided they were. Oh, man. It, looked, it hurt, bro. It, it, hurt. Made, it made me start listening to the locks more again. I already listened to them, but I went back and like played Fuck You a hundred thousand times after that. That just made me realize how hard Jetty Kiss was as an individual, bro. bro. He brined that shit for real, bro. Oh, God. Nah, for real, for bro. For real, like. That's why I said that I separate that one, but like the the verses, like you said, when they was in the crib, like the shit with Teddy Riley and Babyface, that type shit like that was funny, bro. Then you yeah. also figured out what niggas uh, didn't know what Wi Fi was, cause yeah. niggas did not have home and they was on DSL. Like, <laughs> what, what do I do? Babyface uh, was, was shit. Who was that? Uh, Teddy Riley. Yeah. Yeah. And he was 
<laughs> the nigga was in the comments talking crazy while he was trying to fix it. I said, bro, come on. Get back to work, bro. Hey, that shit was classic, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was some good times. That's how I was like, man, black people are so fucking creative, man. But Timberland's, uh, Timberland and Swiss shit, the first one, yeah. was yeah. hard. It yeah. was. It was hard. I still don't know who the better producer is. And I don't like doing that for real no more, but it's... Tim- I- Timberland I'm, got I'm too biased. many. I, I don't he got him. too many. He got too many hits. Swiss Beats has so many good songs, but they all sound the fucking same. You kind of know when a Swiss Beats. Oh, you know. Oh, you gonna know? The versatility in Timberland, I agree with y'all. I ain't, you know, I yeah, ain't nah, nah. it They was, both great for sure. We're not gonna disrespect. Yeah, I just slept on how many Swiss, like how many beats Swiss has been a part of, though, bro. Well, I mean, yeah. shit, bro. They've been around for so long, and like who they started like coming up with. Like yeah. he was coming up with. DMX and jo- like that's crazy, but yeah. also you look at fucking Timberland, he had Missy Elliott, true, Gene and Ma. Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Ho, before Ho, Justin though, Timberlake. he had that one before, yeah. Ho. I'm, I know Missy Elliott alone is crazy. Then he had Justin Timberlake, yeah, like because when that Neo and uh, the Neo and John Taylor, I'm like, damn, bro, you just really never know who really be Dude, behind. Who all you think songs. won that one though? John Say, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once he, he dropped got. that motherfucker, the Malia records, I said, so with. Then he did the Chris Brown joint on the first album. I said, damn. He, he, he OD. I'll tell you one that we got cheated for him for another nigga not using his Wi Fi correctly. That Nelly and Ludacris. Yeah. I'm Luda saying, murdered him, though. It wasn't fair, bro. But Luda would murder him, though. I don't know if. I, <sighs> ooh, Luda man. got hits, bro. He does. I think. It, y'all gotta y'all be knowing the names. Just give me just give me three that y'all think is Nelly can't fuck with. Ludacris songs? Yeah. Just uh, three. I'm saying like when they come can. Nah, I'm saying like the way you perform and when they come on, it's gonna yeah. kill Nelly. It ain't saying that it's a better song, but it's like yeah. when you play move, bitch, get out the it's way. Bro. It's like when they come on, it's like Hey y'all. Nelly, that's crazy. I'm just it's not saying. a disrespect to Nelly because Nelly got undefeated his too. Like it's certain songs like Nelly play Air Force Ones, what do you do? It's 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 cooked. Yeah. He plays certain like country but some of them classic songs, you're not gonna fuck with. Ludacris got some of them same songs too, bro. Chicken and Beer was a great album. Yeah, but it's like when they come on, they just hit different. Yeah. It's like the dip set. We knew they had better songs, but when Jada Kiss performed them, it it was different. It like, ah, they ain't hitting right. That's my shit though. Mm-hmm. But it ain't it ain't flowing right. Not how this nigga. Like, I'll turn that bullshit off, and then he it's, start rapping. It's the energy. It's the energy. Yeah. And Ludacris was in that motherfucker. Like, I got another one. And he did. And Nelly over there. <laughs> Nelly cannot rap better than Ludacris. Hell no. Nah, like, but he still got. Because Ludacris, to me, honestly, outside of Two Chains, because Two Chains is up there too. But like feature wise, Ludacris was a sleeper feature on a lot of shit. And he mm-hmm. used to mark a lot of shit when he was growing up. It, even if you look at when we got older, even when, I ain't gonna say outside of his prime, but when he's doing movies and shit, start stopping on rap. Every time it was a Khaled slap, that nigga Ludacris had a verse. Oh yeah, and they usually yeah. was one of the best verses yeah, on the songs. He, he was I, I, I would, I would, I would go see that again. The Ludacris versus Nelly, cause bro, Nelly got some shit. Bro. Nelly got hate. He do, I just don't know. Like he needed help though. Nelly like got shit like to the windows to the wall. He got them type of songs. Not that's not his song, of course. But I'm saying like, what's the song? Uh, it's getting hot. Like we yeah. don't we don't really want to hear that shit. Nah. But it's a hit. but it's a hit. That's what I said to the windows to the wall with Lil John. But I'm saying like a move bitch came on when that came on. You, it's going to hit harder. Oh yeah. No, yeah. So <laughs> it is all hard. about songs. Like he can't so, play the limit. Lil Chris play. What's your fantasy? Like, yeah, that ain't it's going to hit different. That, Damn, DJ, that's a record. I'm, I'm just saying, saying, bro. And that was his damn different. breakout I'm single. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah bro. That that shit is hard. They don't even spin that no more. You that know, damn near low can go. You know who damn near had it fucked up though? When people were saying two chains beat Ross. Nigga. No. They were drinking. That was hot. He was getting a shoulder rub and start playing Aston Martin music, bro. bro. What do you so do? Gangster. What do you do? <laughs> that's <laughs> preference at that point though. Cause but, it's not a good matchup. It was. It's, not, it's a lyricist versus a nigga that make good music. Rick Ross needed to battle somebody. He needed to battle Jeezy. Yeah, somebody that can rap for Ooh, real. Ooh, and I don't think that would have. Yeah, I mean, up. Jeezy probably a clobber. No. Uh, pause. Rick Ross. No. Because if you're going off of, listen, y'all, hold on. I'm I, here you. I, I just <clears> think if you're going off, like, performance, and it depends. Like, I feel like, bro, I had a I had a versus party at my house, nigga. You for did. Gucci and Jeezy. Like, I had. So, I feel like, niggas, is, that's a club environment. Rick Ross don't have too many of those club environment songs. Rick Ross is a better rapper to me. 
than Jeezy, but what you want to hear, because we all watch verses and we drinking and shit, bro, we want to get hype. You want to hear that trap or die. Rick Ross don't have nothing for that. Yes, he do. Why don't he, nigga? BMF? BMF? Hustling? Yeah. It ain't the full catalog. He don't have nothing for that said. first mixtape, y'all. Come on. I ain't saying he got nothing, but he knew how to He know how to pick his song. He got slaps, though. And so if you going to feature I love stuff, Ross, bro. He started playing that shit from Khaled and shits with Wayne and shit. I'm like, oh, this yeah. nigga here, he different. He started getting into Teflon Don songs. He's yeah, gonna get spooky. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Shit. But it, I think that would be a great matchup Because honestly, realistically, the GZ and Gucci wasn't a good matchup Not at all Gucci a legend, he a mixtape But his song, his catalog didn't yeah. compare to Jeezy Jeezy right. won that to me Yeah, it was easy, easy yeah. watch What versus matchup do y'all think like, we missed out on? Who we should, who should do one? Who should have did one? Um, that's tough. Uh, it's it's in the works, but uh, me and Jeff used to go back and forth about this. Um, Jermaine Dupri and Diddy. Facts. Who y'all rolling with? That's the one that we didn't, we haven't received yet. I'm gonna. We're go. not gonna get it. I don't, I don't know. They said they might. They was gonna do it. I don't believe them. It was supposed to happen like Denver like a year ago. I just, I think so far as, and this is why I say matchups matter. Like. Jermaine Dupri catalog is very deep, and it's he still got shit, but you like it's R and B versus hip hop kind of. Cause Diddy has like R and B shit for sure. He ain't fucking with Jermaine on R and B though. Nah. It's not even close, bro. He got twenty R and B joints alone. Well, only reason why I said that might be tough because if you think about all them posse cuts that Diddy got, like. I need a girl and shit like that. Them songs slap. No, absolutely. They not better right. than the Mariah Carey songs right. by no reason. But. Nah, bro, but he got Usher. Yeah, it's, it's murder it's when he plays. I, I yeah, agree. It's, I'm rolling. But solid. then he going to play Biggie out of nowhere. And, and he going to play Mary play. J. And it ain't going to hit the same. With Biggie, when you play Notorious and all that you shit. You play all and, about the Benjamins, bro. Like, shit like that, bro. I mean, he got, like, Money Cash Hoes with uh, Jay and Money and the Thing, too. Yeah, Like, but Black Rob and them, whoa, all that shit. He gonna get motherfuckers hype. So, I don't know what Jermaine Dupri has. Like, what hip-hop? Because Bow Wow, it's well, a Well, he good. got shit with Nelly. Shout out to Shad. Shit. Shout why, out to them. He got Why grill. you shout out Shad for? He made grills. Jermaine Dupri made grills. Y'all can fact check me. That's what y'all be doing on YouTube. But I believe he produced that beat. He but, did. He's on the beginning. Yeah, that's what I'm y'all saying. Know what this I, is. I, yeah, I really I had to think about it. But I'm saying though, you can't play Bow Wow versus Biggie. Hell no. <laughs> cause it's like, cause that's some of your biggest records though on the hip hop side. But when he played Bounce with Me and then went against Diddy Swan, what you gonna do? Bounce with Me versus God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. Fuck that. <laughs> you know who was the first versus though ever? Really? It was Drake versus Lil Wayne when they did that concert. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I know that's where they took that shit from. Did y'all go to that? I went to that. Legendary. Yeah, I, I wish I had was, the shoes. That was hard. That's dude. in my top five concerts ever. For Who sure. wins that versus? Ooh. Because they was, I, I just remember that. that moment when Lil Wayne was like, nigga, you got singing songs? I got them too. He fucked him up here. Nigga, he was murdering <laughs> that nigga. I'm he like, fucked him up here. I remember that August 16th. Yeah, baby, I was my like, way going Damn. crazy right now, bro. <laughs> you went to the concert. <laughs> hey, baby girl, I know you might be doing tomorrow. Nah, but. for real. Shanice was finna pop the sky out, bro. We was in that hole nine years ago. Facts. <laughs> I can't miss this concert. <laughs> I don't know who would win. Wayne and Drake, that was a good battle, though. Uh, I don't want to answer that question. Who you, why? Who you got? You I got Drake. That question. Nah, I got Wayne, but I don't feel like it's going to be in Wayne's favor if it ever happened. Wayne gets to be I mixtape mean, Wayne, right? Yeah, it's over. It depends the demographic. That's my and that's what I was gonna it say. Be it depends 20, upon it the be twenty five and up, bro. It gotta be twenty five and up. Because if I see somebody take something off, take care over like draw three, I'm gonna lose it, and I don't want to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna show my age, and I'm gonna get pissed. If Wayne gets a rap over no ceilings, Drake is toast. Yeah, but he gonna do something crazy. Because there's only twenty songs, y'all. Yeah, and but, you get to do whatever you was a part of. But Drake got a lot of features. Ooh. He got a lot. I mean, Wayne does too. Let's be very clear. You do. But Drake has a lot of features, and a lot of them features go all the way up. I don't think they better than Wayne's catalog. I don't. I don't think so either. Feature Wayne is better than feature Drake. That's a good battle. Make it a real. I can't wait. The feature versus. Hey, we got to make a playlist off that. If Drake and Wayne mm. only did, people gonna steal our shit. Y'all know how it go. But features, features yeah. only. If they did the verses off twenty features a piece. Wayne wins that by landslide. Wayne definitely uh, wins. I don't think so. Wayne definitely wins. I don't think so. Bro. Wait, now before we get off the subject, are we counting him taking other nigga songs as features? Because if so, then yes. But if no, not, no. then my yeah. nigga do promise. Swag. That ain't a feature, Those are though. features though. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> they made a feature. Then Miguel. That, 
That's stealing somebody's song. No, nah, yeah, right. I'm bullshit. I'm about to say, because But the Chris Brown, the T Pain shit, uh, Ply shit, Lloyd, uh, that Lloyd fucking, shit. That ain't fucking with Versace and all that shit, bro. Ooh. Versace, he gonna have to play that motherfucker three times. No, he ain't. The nigga, he made those. everybody hot. Name your hottest rapper Drake got on their song and made them hot. Nah, he all did. the shit with Future? He Ooh. did. Yeah, he got shit with the go with the go with. Future came harder than Drake on a lot of that shit. Man, fuck oh, that. He was just, he was just he, no. That's a bad take, no. He was just, he was just. No. He, he was said, get the fuck out of here. He was just happy. Enough. He said enough. <laughs> he was just, he was just helping my nigga Future out. Shout out to Drizzy, but Drizzy could have came better on a lot of them songs, Man, bro. Yeah, he was helping, he was helping my nigga out, and I appreciate it. Yeah, well, yeah, well, set it from up, the, people. From the fan club, from the music side, but nah, bro. Future-wise, Drake shreds Drake. We got to set that up. I we got to make Wayne shreds Drake. We gotta make the playlist. Make yeah, the playlist. Right. We will. But shit, we got sports popping off. College basketball just popping off. And like, I was looking um, at some of the old like highlights and shit. Bobby Knight passed away and stuff. I was looking through like all the old collegiate how like college basketball was made off prominent coaches and shit like that. It's damn near weird now because we don't have that same nostalgia with a lot of stuff. I know everything changes, but like even in the NBA, we looking like we don't got like Mike Breen and like yeah. fucking uh, Mark, Mark Jackson. Yeah, like we don't have them classic broadcasts. So I'm looking like, damn, like what niggas gonna do after Dickie V? Like that made college basketball like that time of the year like fire. Like is it just us getting older? Because I know this shit happens every so often. But I feel like we losing that nostalgia with shit. How y'all gonna do that to Jay Billis like that? Nigga, Jay Billis ain't Dick Vitale. Nah, he, no he, disrespect. He a nah, legend, bro. He, he a legend, bro. For sure, I'm not ever disrespecting Jay but... Billis. Draft picks are elite. Don't start that shit because you be on your Mel Kiper Jr. I shit. love Mel. We ain't got to talk about that right now. Put That's him in the back pod, wood. bro. But I'm saying though, bro, I I think we still college <clears> basketball. <throat> we're just not as excited no more like we used to. I feel like they're still out there. But I feel like that was kind of the excitement around. You had them play, people at them campuses and them schools, and they was big in prestige. And you had a college game day with, damn, I want to hear Diaper Dandy and shit like that. Yeah. I want to hear Mike bring bang with the plays and shit. Now you don't get that no more. Yeah. Do we got to adjust to this new shit, or is it just what it is now? It's, they just probably bring another motherfucker. We just ain't tapped in like that no more. I mean, Jay will do a good job. For sure. They do, bro. He's a great commentator. He's just not entertaining. Dicky Vitale was entertaining. Yeah, he made you wanted to get called a diaper dandy. Yeah, Yeah. you feel me? You wanted to go. That's some wild shit to call a nigga. Diaper dandy. Come on, bro. That's some wild shit to call a nigga. I mean, Dicky. He was just swaggy with it though. Like he had a personality. He brought personality to college. Yeah, he did. He made, but everything he said, you wanted him to say about you. Yeah, you never. I, I don't know if you got anybody right now. Who can do that? Nah. And even it's crazy because you got the pressures of social media. Even for you hooping, like, I can imagine you probably wanted to get that ABC primetime game. But you probably wanted to be in that situation to where you in a guard and you can hear people call your name. Like, I don't feel like we getting that from the announcers no more. And that's not no shade to them, but I feel like they just don't. The networks don't emphasize how important that is. Yeah, I, breaking up Mark Jackson and Van I hate Gundy it, and all them, that was, like, that was the worst shit they could have did. But shit, it is what it is. Now we got to find a new crop. Yeah, I was hoping somehow, some way, because TNT always had the elite pre post game shit. That's yeah. how the NBA is the best show ever. Yeah. But they announced the crew, definitely could have been better. That, I wish somehow, some way, we could have got Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson with them. That would have been hard. That, that would have been, been the best broadcast we could have ever got, bro. True. Yeah. That's true. But now it's kind of like, damn, like we didn't ever want to watch the game with the sound down. Bro. I even fuck with Mark Jones. And, hey, uh, shout out to Mark Jones. He a real nigga. We Mark, Jones Mark Jones and uh, what's the lady name that used to Doris. 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 But they split like, that up. Yeah, I know. I'm like, damn, y'all took that away from me too. I'm like, I used yeah, to, Doris Burke knew her shit. Yeah, I, I fuck with that combination too. But shout out to Mark Jones. He a real. He support the podcast. How old is Dicky V? Uh, he's old. He up there. Yeah, yeah he, he up, up there. there. And he balanced a lot of health stuff too. So even if he can do stuff, it's like he can't really. You know what I'm saying? He can't dude. be himself. But yeah. yeah. Somebody else will tap in. I hope so, because, like, I remember we went through a dark period, man. We had to deal with uh, Reggie. When Reggie was first starting, he was trash. And we had to deal with, like, Chris Webber. Like, we got some of them out the way. But we got to replace people, man. Yeah, C-Web, that wasn't his calling, bro. Uh, C-Web went to straight to selling packs. Yeah, packs. that wasn't his calling, bro. <clears throat> he had the pre roll Yeah, people. that wasn't his calling. Him, but Paul Pierce was funny as shit on NBA Countdown. I wish he would go back. Hilarious, bro. Yeah, he's good for TV for sure. Him and Jalen Rose used to have me cracking up, man. They just couldn't have him on there after that crazy scene he had with the hoes. They was hating though. <clears throat> yeah, but he was wilding. He's getting his shit off. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was a wild scene. I'm gonna tell you right now, Instagram Live has never did nothing positive for niggas. Everybody <laughs> loses on Instagram Live, and y'all always want to go live. We gonna lose. Bro. No, we're not. We're gonna John win. Morant. We're gonna Paul win. Paul Pierce. We're gonna win. Who else? <laughs> Listen. Goes on, I'm bro. more player than both of them. I, we go win. 
<laughs> now, if it was Facebook Live, win. I would understand. I, Facebook Live is the worst live you get. <laughs> the best, the best live is with him and KG, and KG trying to tell you. Bro, chill out. Oh, uh, when they was at the, uh, when they was watching the game, that nigga said, "Yeah, I paid for her." I was crying, bro. I see yo, he fried, he fried. Y'all ever seen the clip where him, me and my brother was uh, playing against each other, and he was checking in. He was like, "Both y'all niggas ugly." <laughs> Crying again. Oh, this is what that ain't goes. funny as hell, man. We <laughs> that's funny as fuck. It was funny as hell. Hey man, I, I, I bring this up too well, but I swear, dog, when he threw his head in the crowd, <laughs> that nigga grabbed it and threw it back. That is one of the funniest <laughs> basketball shit for me. That nigga ever. threw it and celebrated. <laughs> nigga threw it back. <laughs> <at> <laughs> it, <nigga. laughs> Uh, and it's fucked up because Swamper is one of the coldest niggas a hoop. One of yeah, the coldest of niggas ever, bro. I swear to God, he is. No, nah, like real, for real, real deal bucket. I don't know why people disrespect Pauly P like that. Because he be on that. Nah, he do, bro. But he, he was really a bucket. Niggas, when he got on there, he said he was better than D Wade. And Jalen Rose was just like, well, let's compare. <laughs> Jalen <laughs> Rose. Jalen Rose is a Midwest nigga. Because he's like, okay. yeah, all right, bet. Let's, 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 let's now, that makes sense. He didn't have to embarrass Pauly P like that. I mean, listen. But he did. I, I saw with Jalen Rose at the skip when he brought in his stats. He said, you played JV. <laughs> he's a junior. Because <laughs> Jalen Rose is really a slept on two guard. He was one of the elite niggas back in the day in the early 2000s for sure. Jalen Rose is the reason why we got to the NBA Finals. So I always got respect for Jalen yeah, Rose. He averaged a dub on that Pacers squiddy. Yeah, he was cold. That's yeah. when y'all was. I fucked with the Pacers. Then I ain't gonna lie. Matter of fact, we need Jalen Rose on the podcast. Yeah. Jalen Rose, pull up Midwest Please. shit. Yeah. Yeah. He got he got the swag popping. I I gotta. That's the one time I can say like, all right, Chris, wherever you you started some shit. The ball head shit, y'all was y'all was y'all was tripping. But yeah, that was nasty. the black sock, big shorts, like y'all started the era. Yeah, facts. Like niggas give credit to Iverson, but we got we got to pay real homage. Like that was C Web and them for sure. And I mean, this has been said before, and we talked about it, but that's in one team who would have did crazy numbers with the NIL. Oh, they would have been millionaires. Niggas. And Nike still owe them. Definitely. Nike owe them, bro. I just bought some Harachis a couple months back because of them. Yeah, they just dropped. That's crazy. I think they would have went crazy. Hell yeah, bro. They they literally. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, they would have. They would have went crazy, bro. Yeah. I I kind of marks like there's no way because they the, the shoes they were dropping in too. You wore them other uh, up tempos. Yeah. Come on, bro. Has it been three players like that since <clears throat> with that type of caliber? All them could have been number one picks. Uh, that I Can mean, I think of a college team yeah, that had Cam three Reddish, players. R J Barrett, yeah, that's that's the first one I could have thought of. Damn, Gilchrist, Anthony Davis. Nah, cause mm, then nobody else would have went one. Yeah, I'm not. They had that's not a no disrespect, but yeah, no, nah, nah, they had three powerhouse motherfuckers. I was just thinking about that. They was cold. Uh, go one um, for real, bro. That's, they probably yeah, I guess they were kind of. I can't think any of them Kentucky teams didn't have. Three I was like trying that. to think of them UConn backcourt front court teams though. Yeah, but they wasn't. No, I Rudy, mean, Charlie Willing and waving them, but I'm like, no, nah, they wasn't. Not all the goals. How they oh, I'm tweak tweaking. <laughs> My bad. Shout out to Jimmy and Demarcus now. But who was the third who was going to go one? That's what I was thinking of, too, on that team. Not E. Bled. No nah, disrespect, Bled but he wasn't going top five. One. You were. Nah. They was fire, though. Bled was lottery. Yeah, I mean, that's not no disrespect, but all them niggas we just said literally could have went one, nah, which is crazy. Nah, for real. Juwan, Jalen, yeah. and Chris. I thought about that. We ain't got to pause the show for that, but yeah. yeah. But speaking on some hoop shit like with the NBA, like, Niggas keep calling Bron O and KDO, and I'm just like, hey, y'all know at some point, like, niggas not supposed to be this good for this long. Like, it, it makes sense that it's about to be a change in the guards. And yeah, Bron not supposed to be killing at 21 years. That, that's ridiculous, bro. That's wow. And bro. niggas was mad because his minute, it was just like, he only playing X amount of minutes. Nigga, he's 40, bro. Yeah. He not supposed to be playing 30 minutes a game. He's not, bro. He didn't play too much basketball, bro. <laughs> He elite though, still. He, still. He, he is, but, like, we got to chill on a Bron criticism. And I ain't no big Bron fan. Like I am, but I'm saying like you know, Kenny them is OD. But like I ain't like if that nigga if Bron say I only want to play ten minutes a night, that's okay, bro. It is, and it's just fun, bro. <laughs> like, we've seen you hoop enough, my nigga. He not averaging twenty eight. You been hooped twenty sorry. years, damn near of my life, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you been hooping since I was in middle school, nigga. Yeah, like we got yeah. kids. I, on, I ain't fucked up you a part. Yeah, bro. you perfectly fine. You <laughs> twenty minutes a game, Bron. If you want like to, that, bro. that you rule with the player sitting out that. That they ain't got nothing to do with him, bro. Yeah, nah, it don't apply to Bron. But even bro. now, I see niggas criticizing KD, like KD looking old. What nigga? He's been in the league a long fucking time too, bro. Well, he's not supposed to be option number one no more. Seventeen years. Yes. He's not supposed to be option number one no more, bro. He's, he's not. 
He's and not. I get why he want to go to teams with other good players now. Because I forgot that he didn't play for damn near 17 years. Bro, he, he had 16 signature model shoes, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. 17 year of age. He deserved it. Yeah, break. Devin Booker, go shoot the ball 30 times a night, bro. It's yeah, your turn. You're right. Matter of fact, you're right. <laughs> hey, hey, my God, fault, Katie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. The slander got to kind of chill. You kind of right. forget. How yeah. long, nigga? And you an actual pro, so you like, nigga, after eight years, I was kind of like, not to say you was ready to stop, but you like, nigga, I could take a night off if I want to. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> like, for Shit. real. Like, I got the 10, I was like, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Pit- playing longer than LeBron? Uh, yeah, yeah, but he's going to probably pass What's it. What's the virgin? The old boy from the Lakers. The, uh, no, I think Robert Parrish played a long time. Bron. Robert Dirk, Parrish. I think Dirk did 20 something. 21, maybe? Yeah, we got it. I wonder who the record is. It's probably between Dirk and Vince. Well, Brian yeah. finna break it. Oh, yeah, he's going to be It got to be Vince, though. Vince now, Carter played 22 seasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brian going to break that. That's Damn, crazy. 22 bro. years, bro. Now That's actually, your whole life. Yeah. No, for real, bro. Playing basketball, nigga. That you was play. making a million plus for 22 straight years. That's tough. That's crazy. And that's bare minimum. Because he never saw a million. Yeah. He saw crazy. a million before high school. That's, that's generations that of hoes, bro. <laughs> LeBron is second. Oh, he'll be first. Yep. Now that commercial, him talking about he gonna play with his youngest son. Chill out. He will. I believe it too. They never gonna kick him. We can't kick him out the league. Nah, he could play. Uh, he could play for thirty years if he wanted to. Yeah, he. Um, That's crazy. It's always a roster spot. And Who's, he got he got the most buckets ever. Yeah, I hate when they be criticizing LeBron. Like, bro, he scored the most buckets ever. Cause it's just easy, bro. The expectations you gotta say something. It's fucked mm-hmm. up how the world is, but we can not really only say something about him not winning the shit. That's all Everything you can else say. is we out of pocket. Else. Yeah, that'd be wild. <laughs> That's just like when they were talking. We just like if he didn't go to Miami, we'd be talking about Brian differently. Okay, maybe, but the nigga went there and won. So, <laughs> but I kind of see what Shannon and them kind of went too hard on him, bro. But I just he feel like shit. I could have went anywhere, anywhere. I still would have been the face of the league. He ain't lying. I don't know what he meant by that, but yeah. that's what I took from what he was saying. I don't think he was shitting on Miami, even though I know he had his, you know, yeah. dealings out there that he didn't really fuck with. But, I mean, he ain't lie, bro. Like, shit, you still going to pull up to see the Cavs. Look what he did for the city, bro, when he was there. Then when he left, bro. What the like, niggas? All that money that left Cleveland? Yeah. That he, looked like the wire when he left. <laughs> that's what I'm yeah. saying. Downtown, Downtown was, was trash. Lost. It looked like Indianapolis <laughs> three years ago. <laughs> hey, don't do that. <laughs> Damn, truth, bro. Nah, real talk, no, that, bro. That was trash. Yeah, yeah, pandemic so, now. Yeah, what? We start talking it? about all them championships. He won MVPs. I'm like, yeah, oh, I think it's bigger than that. He talking about his impact. Yeah, yeah, bro. But if you think about it at that time period, if he was on any other team but the Cavs, he would have been fine. Yeah, he would have been straight, bro. Brown would have still been Brown. Nah, Brown, he, he the GOAT. But I like the league now. Like, every team got somebody you at least want to see hooping. You see, like, the young star. Like, you see Jason Tatum going crazy. You see Anthony Edwards going crazy. Like, hey, listen, listen. I know niggas was out of pocket with them Jordan comparisons, but now I see it. I'd be like, I know he not Jordan, but the way that nigga play – you know, I, I fuck with it. Much on man, I, mean, I, yeah, I fuck yeah, with yeah. it. He ain't Jordan, but I bull. fuck with it. Nah, he, he nice. Young boy early. He nice, but the mid range. It's the mid range pull ups that I fuck with. Yeah, I yeah, but let's chill. the new Gerald Henderson. Hey, we gotta stop that. And shout out to Gerald Henderson. <laughs> Y'all have to stop that. He was Kobe in college. Bro. You know me and him barely agree on shit, bro. I'm telling you, y'all know I be tapped in. He was super like that in high school. He was Kobe. Shout out to Gerald Henderson, but y'all got you. The ball head when he got when he went body. We Cause you talk about Travis Outlaw having I, to turn around like Jordan too, and I don't like that. He did, bro. At see, one point, bro. I see, niggas see. really don't know Travis Outlaw like that. If y'all ain't tapped into the basketball world, I get it. Shout out to the Blazers. Travis Outlaw had a little. He took that from MJ just a little bit. <laughs> If you ever back. mentioned Travis Outlaw and Michael Jordan in the same And you feel sentence. what I'm saying? I, I know it's life. nasty. I'm not trying to make the comparison. That's what I'm just trying to say. And I know all you YouTubers and shit like that. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm saying niggas be watching tape and they try to mimic. Like, yeah. what niggas do? Like, I've never seen Travis Outlaw do anything that mimic Michael <laughs> I'm gonna Jordan. I'm going to send you some footage. And I'm bro. not hating on Travis Outlaw. You got a I Travis actually, Outlaw. I actually Travis I like Outlaw that. got a mixtape, bro, and it's actually hard, bro. It's like probably, seven minutes. Nah, my he, mama. He, he probably, and he dunking on niggas. Nah, like, he had that. <laughs> nah, I ain't like, saying that, but. A lot guys, of niggas be getting slept on, bro. Who got a better mixtape? You got a nice mixtape, bro. But that's niggas like saying my mixtape is like Iverson mixtape. <laughs> Like, nah, yeah. but you, you stole a couple moves from niggas, though, and it's Never, nice. nigga. I had my own. Nah, you wasn't your nigga, own mixtape. You probably pack. had your own little lineage for a little bit, but nah, you got a couple I, I moves don't got that we no, can go I ain't take no moves from nobody. Where we still no moves from? <laughs> Bugsy. <laughs> Got no fucking move. Shout out to the OG, man. He had a little Eric Snow in his man, guy. Get the oh. fuck out of here. If I got any Eric Snow move, 
That's nasty. Chop my foot up. <laughs> he got a couple of each snow in him. No, nah, but also real. Snow crossover is crazy. <laughs> I don't even see that nigga do a crossover before. That nigga's a bag nigga's Nah, yo, yo fake passes, that's not, you didn't create that. Was that was me, bro. I, I, I got that from for N1. That's what I'm lie. saying. Like, you had little other niggas in you. Pause. My whole gang came from, <laughs> that's, that's wild. That's, <laughs> my keys fell off. Because they knew you out of park. It's time to go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I told Travis Outlaw mixtapes is crazy. Most not, of my game came Marvel from man. A1 though. So yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what. But I, a lot of niggas mixtapes be slept on in the league, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Hey, have you seen the uh, the mixtapes that they be putting the R&B music, bro? That shit is funny <laughs> as fuck. That shit, that, that mellow one, funny as hell. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's funny as hell. I seen that. His <laughs> shit is hard too. His uh, mixtape tough on you. And the first clip is always the Pop Millsap dunk. Yeah, yeah, bro, you gotta yeah. get it cracking first, bro. <laughs> I'm mad you said Travis Howell. Let's say I have a Ruby Patterson got a mixtape. I ain't seen that one. But it's I probably seen late. Don't do a rule like that. The Kobe Stopper? That was so cat. But. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas gassed that so much you really <laughs> thought it was a thing. Kobe probably had crazy <laughs> numbers on Ruby. Nobody <laughs> thought it was a thing except him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was a thing, though. <laughs> Niggas was speaking on that. Like. Them niggas on them part of the trouble. It was like, I don't know. He got a couple good stops on call. I don't know. That's Man. bullshit, bro. That's did what, did y'all that watch uh, the Vlad interviews? Yeah. Did you see the one with the ref? Donna, he, uh, hey. he said the only reason Kobe was getting all them uh, points like that is because they was calling fouls for him for no reason. Like, they want to see him score a bunch of points. Hey. Damn. Listen, shout out to Mike Bibby. Uh, that Kings team should be yeah. able to whoop his ass, bro. That's a fact, bro. They should be all the lineup and whoop his ass, bro. Because he cheated them, bro. They should have beat the Lakers. That's a fact. When you look at that, for, that them they calls, was up bro, 20, bro. And them calls in the f- third and fourth Man. quarter, bro, were insane, bro. Out of pocket, bro. That's one of the most slept on teams to me, too. They was cold. One of the my favorite teams ever, bro. They the reason I really liked NBA basketball. From Jason Williams being there to getting Bibby. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this yeah, is the best Bibby, shit ever. Bibby, Page, uh, uh, I fucked Bloody, with Bobby Jackson, too. Bobby Jackson. Bobby Bloody, Jackson. He was a real uh, six man. Facts. Uh, who else? Page of Vlad. Doug Christie. Doug Christie. And we forget Scott the- Pollard. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Scott Pollard. <laughs> what's Turk, crazy Turk is- Turk too. Turk, oh, My nigga, yeah. he had a burner. But you know what's crazy? Um, as much as like people didn't fuck with him because of whatever happened, niggas forget how cold Chris Webber was. Chris Webber was cold. Nah, bro, he's elite. Who ain't since he Chris first Webber? Came in the, but he don't get a lot of promotion for how good he heavy was. Heavy double double in 90, everywhere. Whatever. Nah, he, he was came a superstar. Warriors, for real. He was a superstar. Yeah. We I, talked about the Kings, but that nigga was outside cold. Outside of that Kings team, like I, that was a good team. But I like that Portland Trailblazers team better. Cold, Bonzi, She, Pip, yeah, Sabonis. Grant, Brian Grant. Yeah, Stoudemire. Yeah, oh, they had Steve Smith. They had a squad. I was that tapped was in. My, yeah. I was tapped in. <laughs> that, I was, was, that was my 2K Baby team. Zebo. I was, yeah, bro, I was, was, my I was team, a jail bro. blazer, bro. Yeah. Hey, I'll never forget that nigga where she was got to take a halftime. And Steve Smith was like, what do you do? Get out of my face, Steve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, bro. Like, damn, nigga. She Wallace was that nigga, bro. Yeah, he was cold. Back then. Probably sure. one of the most underrated power forwards ever yeah, played. Y'all yeah, think that team would have beat the <laughs> Sacramento team in the seven-game series? I'm not going. I, I don't know, know that bro. Sacramento team was like the Warriors damn near, nigga. They, they was, was too efficient, yeah, bro. Yeah, they was. That pick and pop with Bibby and Weber was was elite, elite bro. It was, but bro. I would have loved the to pip see running the one though. That was different, bro. Yeah, it was. But with shit. Stoudemire at the two, then you got Sheed down there. The Sheed was the first nigga in the league stretching the three like that. For sure. He was. And you had Sabonis. Man, Sabonis yeah, versus Vladi would have been a great matchup. Yeah. yeah. Sabonis used That'd to have been a good series, bro. Shaq fits, bro. That's why I was just this is a question. One of my favorite teams, even though they got to the West Coast Finals, bro. But that 09 Nuggets team, bro, near and dear to oh, my heart. Oh, facts, bro. <clears throat> near and dear to my heart, bro. Nah, facts, bro. I'm not a fan. They need some better locker room niggas. Bro. Nah, they had everything they needed, bro. Like, that team was. It was my niggas, easy, bro. No, bro. They were supposed to be Kobe and them, bro. <laughs> yeah, niggas was drunk. You thought they was about to be Kobe and them. They were supposed to be. That Donnie Hay shit might be for real, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> It, they were supposed to beat them niggas. Man, they were beating the Lakers. Melo bro. was hot, nigga. They had a whip, bro. They Who was on that team? Nasty Melo. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, Kmart nasty was on nigga. that team too, wasn't he? Kmart, yeah. JR Smith. Yeah, bro. Uh, PG was. I believe. Y'all can fact check me. I don't know who was running the it one was between Chauncey. Earl. Chauncey. Was, but was Earl on that team? Earl. Boinkins. Boinkins. Was, he, was he coming off the bench on Could've that team? Because he played on that team too. Yeah, but Chauncey was at the point. <laughs> They had, they, hard, did they have Aaron bro. to follow or am I out of pocket? No, they yeah, had Aaron. Yeah, they had a whip, bro. They had Dante Jones fouling the fuck. They Dante Jones, boy. Ooh. 
Ooh, rattlesnake. Tank. You gonna use all six? Yeah, fact. You want? Why did you didn't fuck with that team though? I just wasn't a fan of that the was your last year in college. Though. Yeah, I but I wasn't like league. a fan of watching them. I, I don't know. I just didn't like watching them for some reason. Mm. Mello I fuck with was, them. Melo was crazy, but that was year six. He was going nuts. Was I like Melo though. I love Melo game, but I just wasn't a fan of that team. I like Jr. Smith and I like Melo. Yeah, Everybody else, five, I like. Six, and I like Kenyon Martin. I always was a fan of Kenyon Martin. He slept on too. He don't get a lot of respect he deserved. Nah, Kenyon Martin was a dog because he'll foul the shit out you, bro. I believe it. I swear to God, he was one of the hardest fouling motherfuckers. He God damn, they, what? Coming to lane, man. He, I think he's playing for the Bucks. He might have been old, but then he fouled the shit out of me. I'm like, hey, man. You was trying to dunk on him? Nah, I was just laying that motherfucker up. <laughs> oh, he yeah. fouled the shit out of me. I ain't want no smoke. Yeah, because you mean. know he look at you. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah. he start. You got OG. Yeah, he, I was like, nigga, I'm just going to free throw line. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, big dog. Like, I don't Good know. Point, you, I, you know, you know when you get fouled, I was like, God damn. He, oh, he looked yeah. back like. Your energy was different. I was just like, nigga, you fouled the shit out of me. Nigga, relax. Like, Okay, yeah. I can't feel the way. Why everybody? Why you got to fight every time you foul somebody, nigga? Oh, yeah. bro, he had to make his presence felt, bro. Yeah, he was bro. an undersized big, bro. Matter of fact, he fouled me. It was in New York. I don't know. It was one of them teams, but he fouled me in New York too. Man, what's crazy is he. But he what broke his leg and still was number one. Yeah, he was cold. Bro, bro. He was elite, bro. And I ain't watching gonna his highlight tape with him and Jason Kidd. It's crazy, crazy, bro. I, 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 I stand on it, bro. I feel Jason Kidd, bro, one of the most underrated point guards, bro. Underrated, he top three point guard all time. Four. I'm rolling. I put in top five, but yeah, I, I put Jay Kidd in my top five, bro. Facts, bro. He got to the finals, so I know he ain't win, bro. But Jay Kidd was killing, bro. And not to disrespect the Kenyon Martin, but you had Kenyon Martin and then Kerry Kittles. Come on, bro. No, he had nasty Rich though. Richard Jefferson was hard back then, yeah, bro. But they he made Richard Jefferson, bro. He did, bro. He, did. he definitely made. Who we gonna put? Who was in other? Who was that big on that team? Keith Van Horn, Jason Collins. Who was who was a uh, white was. boy? But he, he looked mixed. Jason Collins, with Keith Van Horn. The real, oh, the, the real uh, JC. The, with the uh, he, was, he had like red hair and shit. He was strong than a bitch. So, I know you talking oh, about. Oh, he talking about uh, his last name was William yeah. Brian Williams. Nah, I know it's Brian. It ain't Grant. The real, the real Brian, like, you know who that is. Oh, Baby, yeah, I know dude. the real Brian Williams. <laughs> Bird, man. The real OJ Simpson. Dude, this uh, shit from Miss Gladys, boy. Yeah. <laughs> How you talking about that nigga? Shout out to Tony Braxton, too. <laughs> yeah. That's a nasty relationship. But no, nah, that team. <laughs> why is that a nasty hey, You're not going to disrespect Tony Braxton on this podcast. <laughs> so yes, they be mad at us because we always be hopping out of topic. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We on a new yeah, topic. Show. Yeah, fuck it. We on a new topic. Why is that a nasty relationship? Bro, they She's not man. supposed to be with him, man. Yeah, that's supposed to be that with Like, who, who Tony Braxton Bur- supposed to be Bird with? Birdman's supposed to be with Sukiyana. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't supposed to be. He ain't supposed to be with, I'm gonna tell you with right now, TB, If bro. they make a song together. <laughs> no, nah, Birdman's supposed to be with, like. Birdman's supposed to be with Suki, bro. Yeah, he's nah, supposed to be with I'm trying to think of an OG, thing. Ratchet. A Ratchet OG girl. Uh, I don't know. My it. neck. My back. Kia? Kaya, Kaya. Nah, I ain't Kaya. disrespecting Bird. She charged five dollars for selfies. He's not supposed to be with her. That's hard though. No, it's not. That's hard. She out of pocket. Bitch, you at Cinco. <laughs> no, you need to smile. <laughs> My nigga, Kim I'm not saying try. nothing about her because she go at motherfuckers. I'm cool. She need that five. Nah, who y'all? Who? <laughs> Yo, because I I actually fuck with that though. I do. Probably but who more. y'all putting Bird Man Asking somebody for a five dollar bill for a selfie is crazy, bro. Nah, cause what the You you they have you, you gotta charge on the meet and greet. Yeah, like fuck that. I charge a five. You pulling up on me. Yeah. But T, they at the gas station. They didn't know the Man, continue. she was buying her motherfucking business, man. Yeah. And you gonna bother her can I get a picture, yeah, man. Bro, you got five dollars. But if this she point, do this bro. and say, hey, what's your cash at? Never mind. <laughs> You I'm going to give her five, bro. That's an icon. <laughs> I'm about to give you a pack of She made one of the most legendary songs ever. Yeah, she's a legit one-hit wonder. She might be top tier. She might have the number one most, like, number one one-hit wonder. <laughs> nah, oh, nah, you just, it's, it's, it's a, it's My a, neck, my back. Oh, I'm no. talking about hood. Oh, okay. That nigga I'm not Wayne, saying like. Wayne Wonder got the that one. For that's sure. A, that's, a, that's a classic. <laughs> he got that one. I'll take my neck, my back for over sure. there. But now, who y'all putting Birdman with, though? Y'all, since y'all said that's... Uh, I think Lil that's Kim. A, he should have been like Lil' Kim or some Oh, shit. that's crazy. It might be a love. I don't know if it's Kim. That's crazy. Tony, <laughs> well, Tony Braxton is supposed to be with, like... She's supposed to be with... Like something. a baby face type nigga, bro. She that's what I was be, saying. Yeah, she's supposed to be with, like, Brian McKnight. Yeah. Like, I oh, not them nah, Brian. <laughs> Brian is a filthy <laughs> I nigga. I got to stop playing my fault. <laughs> my Brian fault. McKnight's a filthy yeah, nigga. Yeah, he's a Brian McKnight can hoop, though. Uh, that Brian, sidebar. He made sure you had the pussy work. Yeah, bro. 
Brian McKnight need a chair. Who's you? <laughs> I don't like how he not fucking with his kids. We ain't fucking with you. Bro. Nah, they grown though. Nah, I hell can't believe nah, y'all bro. fuck with. Ka- I fuck with Kaya, bitch. I do. I told you I fuck with the selfies though. But like putting niggas with other bitches is crazy. Like, <laughs> it is. But I, I just because it's Birdman too. I, I don't think him and Tony Tony match, bro. Free Tony. Like he's supposed to be like Diddy. Oh, Ooh, we putting smut. Nah, I'm saying like Diddy's not supposed to be with. Diddy is with Carisha for a reason. He's not supposed to be with Carisha, man. That makes sense. You think he's supposed to be with Carisha? Yeah, like he's like the OG sugar daddy, bro. Like for them type of girls, that's who they looking for. They're the perfect. That's a if sick. we're gonna be on social media, Carisha and Diddy are like who the girls who want sugar daddies. That's who I'm okay with them looking up. But to. then her because he's fraud. Her home girl with Uzi though. It's like the math ain't mathing. No, that's cool too though. But that's I can cool see too. her and Uzi that like matching yeah. me. That, like I feel like cool. Carisha supposed to be with like somebody younger. <clears throat> yeah, like uh, like a young lit dude. Because I think she she's the perfect girl for older niggas. That's just yeah, me, you bro. might be right. I she, can see that. Yeah, yeah. That's just she me. she do feel older nigga. Bro. Yeah, that's just me, bro. Because she's a mom. She be wanting to chill. She really want to be in the house. But when she want to go outside and be uh, lit, she yeah. want to be lit. Yeah, I, I, follow, right. I follow Carisha, bro. Yeah. That, that's the vibe. I respect, I respect you. I respect you know, you know more than me. Yeah, I don't, I don't follow. Nah, I don't really yeah. Carisha, for the love of Birdman. I'll be tuned in. For the love of Birdman in. coming soon. We're going to put that on the caption. Like, like, Who would y'all like to see Birdman <laughs> with? <laughs> like Tony Braxton being with Birdman is like Tony Braxton being with Kevin Gates. Like, shit just don't, don't disrespect Birdman don't like that. He really legendary. Matter of fact, him and Tony Braxton actually go. Actually perfect. Nah, bro. She made him break my heart, bro. He made he. He kind made, of made leather so soft. He made <laughs> get your roll on, nigga. Don't disrespect it. <laughs> ah, fuck. Dude. Oh, okay. Oh, so I, let's talk uh, about this. Oh, okay. Is is <laughs> Birdman the greatest nigga that was never was supposed to rap but got hits? Jim Jones. Wait a minute. Is Jim Jones was not supposed I, to sure, rap? Make sure you understand my question. I understand your question. Is Birdman the greatest nigga ever that was not supposed to rap that has hits? Jim Jones, bro. I was say, not supposed to rap. I'm not agree- disagreeing with you, Teague. I'm just saying who you got, D. I, I know what you're saying, and I have to agree because he's on a <laughs> lot of songs that he's not supposed to be on. He got an hey, album with Wayne. That Big Timer's album is nuts. Nah, it's fire. He got number one hits, though, like number one stuff. <laughs> no, that's crazy. what I'm saying, bro. He's the GOAT. And he on there talking crazy. Go he, back and look at them lyrics, bro. Birdman was saying some bullshit. He's better than Diddy, bro. At he's rapping? Be- he's better than P. Master P? Master P? Hits. Yes. Oh, for sure. You think yeah. he got more hits than P? Of course. Birdman? Yeah, he, he do. Absolutely, bro. Nah. Is <laughs> he actually on or? Yes. Rapping? Yes, Birdman. Nah. With him a part of records, bro? Y'all, Birdman y'all has more hits than Master P. I forgot how many songs Master P had, bro. bro. That nigga dropped 38 Master albums. P not fucking with year. Birdman, but Also, bro. Master P fan, but I'm going to say Birdman has more. Yes, bro. But here's the difference. Master P dropped 38 albums in one See, year. You're right, bro. I got you. How many of them are hit? No, but no he was a better right. exec, though. It went platinum. <laughs> they was going platinum. If Master P was just putting his name on everybody else's song, like Birdman was, it'd have been different. But yeah. he was giving niggas credit. Yeah, Master P just had better album covers, bro. No, nah, the, the, the No rap, Limit album covers are undefeated. Yeah, Best the, Photoshop the, the ever. Rap, the rap lineage, though, is so you think Birdman. He got a song better than Make Him Say Uh? Yeah. Get your oh. roll on. It's better to make him say, uh? Yes. Wow. Ooh. Then nah, nah, nah. He got still fly, bro. You tripping. I was going to keep I'm going. I'm the colonel on this motherfucking tank. Are you crazy? Gator. You got boots. hype. Come on, bro. That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> Let me keep thinking. Hey, hey you look at that, that video. Had, that hey, was bro. nasty. Hey, I'm telling about you. About <laughs> Part one into as far as what? Mr. Had. Ice Cream Man is my shit. But that ain't a hit. Let, what? That's a that's a that's a, a hood hit. We, we, we define the hood hits by the hood, but this, yeah, this yeah, the hood hit. But I'm talking about like like bro said, still fly and like get your roll still on. Fly. And shit. Still fly is crazy. Still like, fly is a that's get a your roll song. on is hard. Him being with Tony Braxton is crazy, bro. I hope they don't ever make a song together. I'll fight. My nigga oh. said back on my set where I was. What did he say? Hopped out the passenger side my, of my, my lap. <laughs> under my nuts was two ounces of crack. <laughs> My nigga, that wasn't man, what else he was under went there. crazy. It was more under there too. <laughs> Funny about Lil Wody, an ounce of crack. The bricks, what he say? But my youngsters be strapped, snoring dope, smoking bobos and jackets. Old folks scared. That's why they be snapping. Who wrote that though? Me, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> he wrote that nigga. He was talking B-Man about. B man is crazy. <laughs> nah, he got y'all call him B man. You know how I be giving niggas dickies. Niggas get dickies. I fuck it. Nah, it's somebody else that would post a rap though. They got nah for real. I was a rapper. Wow. I say, yeah, DJ being disrespectful now. Chance Don't look at me. You like Chance the Rapper? Like Jermaine. Yeah, his first album was... Yes. Yeah. Acid Rap was hard, yes. bro. Acid Rap is fire. Yeah, bro. But name me anything after Acid Rap. Uh, I ain't What's the that. one where uh, you don't want no problems with me? Which one was that? Color and Book. Color and Book, Color and Book was hard, bro. Yeah. He can rap, bro. You're tripping. I'll hear it next time at the 520 party, I guess. Like Jermaine Dupree got records, but they ain't fucking with Birdman. And he got some shit. While y'all are here, um, did y'all listen to BG's freestyle over sixty red? Hey, that shit was hard. All my life, it was hard. Yeah. No, hold on. Was that he did two? The other one was not not sexy red. The dreads, the dreads joint. Nah, not that one. That one feeling that one. That's weak. That I was fuck, that I was feeding into the agenda. One. What's the other one? <laughs> yeah, it was feeding into the agenda. BG. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so not, not the sexy red one. The other one. <laughs> Or it was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, BG gonna get on your ass, man. Y'all Please don't no, pause. So who's, <laughs> who's the real BG now? <laughs> Brittany Griner. Is it oh, Big Horn? Yeah. Is it Topless uh, B? Yeah, yeah, what, okay. yeah, yeah, that was hard. Whatever he was. No, was, no I'm talking about the Sexy Red one. Though. Nah, I, I wouldn't. I fuck with it. I it's would, cool. I would fuck with it. I don't want to see Sexy Red twerking no more until she dropped that baby. Y'all have to stop. Respect, but I don't want to see Y'all think no the more. Cash Money Tour gonna be fire? Oh man, unbelievable! Is it gonna happen? I think so. If it happens, bro, I'm getting a sweet, bro. Shout out to Juke. I, I, I'll lose my mind if I hear some of them songs live. Yeah, but I'm getting a sweet. Are they gonna actually go like? But it's gonna together? be like the Temptations. Wayne ain't gonna come out by himself. That's okay. He, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne can end the yeah. show. Wayne probably ain't coming. Wayne ain't coming. Yeah. Nah, he gonna man, tell us the hot boys we gonna get Turk and nah, Slim. Hey, 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 <laughs> Turk and Slim. I'm gonna be mad as hell. They kissed the make up, bro. Made up, bro. They cool. It's gonna be Juvie Turk. Manny, <laughs> whoever he still owe money to, that they can get back is who gonna show up that night. Julie yeah. been on a crazy tour run these last five years. What happened to that one tour where all the old uh, the old R and B niggas went on tour together and then niggas stopped getting paid and they stopped showing up? That's why I feel like that was gonna happen to them with yeah. the Omarion and Bow Wow tour. Oh yeah, yeah niggas were dropping off like niggas flies. Stop showing did up. Did y'all ever go to that one? I couldn't. I make couldn't. It, bro. I'm not. No, well, once I found out Pretty Ricky wasn't closing, it was over for me. And that was a problem for who me was as well. B two K. And that's I'm nothing, yeah, bro. That's not yeah. even close. And we B2K. just too old. Greater sign in for Pretty Ricky. B2K. But, I, but if I'm a Marion, that's my tour. I'm closing it. I respect it. No, nah, yeah, you because you're the bigger artist. I'm just saying for my liking of what I want to hear. I want to hear, you know. Yeah, look, we don't talk about this before. Blue. We know Blue Stars. They have none, none of them niggas got nothing to fuck with that album. Yeah, but B2K is way bigger because they do that shit off analytics. So of course, but they, them other, they had to close the niggas in that group. Like Omarion, bro, he didn't need them niggas. Hey, did y'all see Ocho Cinco on tour? Owens? Hey, talking bro. about it. <laughs> Talk about what? What they say? Oh, you just got to tap in. Oh, man. okay. Yeah, yeah. They crazy. Though. <laughs> I want a center. Man, the nigga said they, <laughs> they, 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 they went to the DR, boy. They took down 17 in 12 hours. Double cup the rubbers. Damn. I said, nigga, y'all yeah, dangerous. Yeah, y'all dangerous. The they real had club to be, Shay Shay. They had to be the rubber is crazy. They yeah, had to be joking, bro. <laughs> Doming up the rubbers is crazy. Hey, do you, did yeah, I, I told y'all the first time I had sex, right? <laughs> no. Nah, because <laughs> speaking of B2K, not like that, Paul. Speaking of B2K. <laughs> thank I you was like, this a wild niggas in that group. So what kind of shit? Yeah, yeah, you wasn't well, no, no, fucking with Raz B shit. When his verse, <laughs> uh, when when Raz B verse came nah, on. What's the nigga, what's the older brother, nigga? What's the older brother of that group? Uh... In B2K? No, nah, like they got like a cousin or something. Uh, was in Immature. Marcus. Oh, Marcus, Marcus Houston. Houston. Oh, yeah, wow. the Creep. So the Creep, <laughs> he had a song, uh, My First Time. Mm-hmm. And that motherfucker said, that make hard. sure you strap twice. So I was like, hmm. Oh, you did say that story. Oh, yeah, I was like, hmm, that motherfucker pop. Both of them? Yeah, it was like r- rubbing <laughs> two matches together. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, Pauls, that's crazy me talking about you going through two condoms. That's out of pocket, no way, but you a dangerous nigga. I told him on the show. Oh, that's crazy. What make it worse is when you see Marcus Houston in that outfit where he had on the white and then the plastic over it. That's why he double cupped the First rubber. of all, you he going did through two, you going through two rubbers. What the fuck were you trying to do? Nigga, they pop. Nigga, they rub together and pop. <laughs> Fucking MC Hammer. <laughs> I was trying to go. Why was time. you dancing that hard in that book? Because I thought, nigga, when he said, make sure you strap twice the guy. <laughs> My pops didn't tell me that part. He just, <laughs> he just threw me one. I was like, he ain't say the second one. <laughs> That shit was so hard put up. And we're making funny. They were probably two different brands of condoms. <laughs> it was a Durex. Oh, you were doing <laughs> two Durexes. Oh. Hey, them was so hard to put on, bro. He I mixed the Kool Aid packs. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> man, that <laughs> shit. The <laughs> pack is hey, crazy. Have you ever tried to put two like gloves on to clean up, bro? It's Never. impossible, bro. Bro, I was in there like. <laughs> That shit was in a chokehold, cuz. That poor girl. <laughs> My poor me, nigga, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> you put on two different brands. <laughs> what make it funnier It's because it's Marcus Houston fault. <laughs> nigga mixed Fuck the Marcus tricks Houston. with the tricks. Marcus Houston, you lied on that song. And yeah, he was out here fucking guys with no condoms. I could have so had got her pregnant, nigga. <laughs> Only person to get pregnant was you. <laughs> hey, fuck Marcus Houston, but Forever. at least he was trying to put out a positive message. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was hating. Yeah, nigga, Tell niggas to be careful for real, for real. Yeah, no, you be, be careful, nigga. Yeah, he said oh. be too careful, nigga. He ruined my that's motherfucking crazy. experience. You was in a pocket, though, bro. Hey, that is funny than a bitch, Yeah, y'all man. niggas is yeah, crazy. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> that might be worse than y'all getting with the condom story. Oh. Man, who got that? That's <laughs> <laughs> be crazy. <laughs> oh, I thought that was... Oh, my God. With the Ziploc bag on. Chris, don't do it. <laughs> man. <laughs> that nigga is Oh, shit. yeah. And on that note, we got to get the fuck up out of here. That nigga fed, man. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Volume. <laughs> Patreon. Also on YouTube.